Hello again, everybody. Welcome to another St. Louis American Sports Break. We have a lot to cover today. Of course, we got a couple of big high school events going on, particularly in boys basketball. The big one is at Vashon High School, the Vashon Winter Classic, which will take place Saturday evening. First game at 4 o'clock, it'll be Hazelwood Central versus Bloomington, Illinois. And in the main event, it'll be a battle of Class 3 state contenders, Trinity Catholic versus the host Vashon Wolverines. Trinity is currently 18-2, and two, a very talented team with a big 7-foot junior in Ryan Kalkbrenner and some excellent guards. They have an excellent team coached by Jeffrey McCall. And the Vashon Wolverines dropping from Class 4 to Class 3, but still a national power. They've played great teams from all over the country. They have tremendous talent led by Cameron Fletcher and Mario McKinney and company. Should be a packed house at the V and a lot of fun, so hope to see you all there. And moving to the Illinois side, we have two big-time games in the Southwestern Conference on Friday night. East St. Louis will visit Belleville West, and Alton will visit Collinsville. Those should be two big-time games, as I said. If you want to continue to follow what's going on with these great games and these great athletes, give me a follow on Twitter, at Earl Austin Jr., hashtag Earl Time Update. Now you know what's next, folks. Time for those St. Louis American shout-outs. And we have many for you this week. First of all, congratulations to all the girls who participated in high school wrestling for the first time that the state of Missouri uh, has sanctioned the event. Last week, we had district tournaments around the St. Louis metropolitan area. And congratulations to all the young ladies who qualified for the upcoming state wrestling meet in Columbia. Tremendous uh, participation. Over 900 girls around the state participated in girls wrestling for the first time this year. Also, congratulations to Mason Clark Middle School boys basketball team in East St. Louis. They have won a IESA regional championship, and they're on their way to hopefully a state tournament championship as well. And it's a special one because they're coached by my buddy, Marie Scott, who was also a frequent contributing writer to the St. Louis American sports section. So congratulations to Maurice and his basketball team. Uh, locally, big congratulations to Adrian Claiborne, a former star football player at Webster Groves. He'll be fitted for a Super Bowl ring in the near future as he was a member of the New England Patriots as a defensive end who just won the Super Bowl for the sixth time over the Los Angeles Rams. So congratulations to big Adrian on getting that Super Bowl ring, that bling, it's always good. Uh, shout out to the McClure South Berkeley girls basketball team having a good season under coach Josh Parker, a former Berkeley star basketball player in his own right. They just won the championship of the Afton tournament, defeating Principia in the championship game. Also, another young lady getting it done, Kaija Harbison, a talented young basketball player from um, St. Louis University, freshman from Louisville, Kentucky. She was named the Atlantic 10 Rookie of the Week for the eighth time. That's right, eight times this season, but also some national love for Kaija. She was also named the United States Basketball Writers Association National Freshman of the Week. So big time honors for Kaija Harbison. Next, we'd like to give shout outs to three young ladies from Lutheran North High School, their basketball team, uh, Kaylin Hayden, Madison Buford, and Jordan White. All three girls have scored their 1,000th career point of their excellent careers. And all of them have done it in the last month of the season. They're the seventh, eighth, and ninth players in Luther North history to score their 1,000th point. And they've really taken the Crusaders program to great heights, including a Final Four appearance in the state tournament in, in uh, 2017. Congratulations to those young ladies. And uh, Yuri Collins, young man out of St. Mary's High School, he's headed to St. Louis University, excellent point guard. He scored 34 points on Tuesday night in a big victory at Chaminade, Yuri Collins coming back from a shoulder injury, having a great senior season. A young man out of Alton High School, Donovan Clay, a 6'7 guard who just recently committed to Valparaiso University in Indiana. Donovan is averaging 20 points a game. He's one of the top players in the Metro East. And finally, a special shout out. This is my, the proud uncle speaking. My number two nephew, Austin Thompson, who graduated from MICDS in 2018, is now playing football at Berkshire Academy in Massachusetts. He just recently signed at Cornell University to play football for the Big Red. Congratulations to the young uh, nephew on a job well done. So that's another edition of the St. Louis American Sports Break. Of course, you can follow everything in the St. Louis American every Thursday or go online, stlamerican.com.